What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3 in Kappa Mode. So last episode, we started working on a few more quests. We knocked out a bunch of the seeds and we started working on our armor and things along those lines. I want to continue on knocking out some more of these earlier quests just so we don't get to like the end of the pack and it's like, okay, now we got to go back and do all these things. Let's get these all knocked out, right? So I wanted to uh, start working on these seeds once again. I'm just going to craft the ones that I can craft off camera and the ones that require a little bit of something else. Like if we can't just craft it right away, I'll bring you guys back in for that. Uh, but anyway, what I wanted to do besides that is knock out some of these modular machines. Now it's looking like the pretty much every single one of these has EMC. And then if you want to upgrade this to the next tier, it requires a previous tier. And then this one has EMC. So this is just like a whole bunch of quick crafting that's going to happen here. So I'll just make one, just bust them out all through the terminal. And then we'll have a million of every single one of these since they all appear to have EMC. Um, then there's a couple of other items here from Magnetic Craft. There is, what is this thing called? The Mag Solar Panel? Yeah, I don't think we need this at all, but we have to craft this for the quest complete. So we're going to go ahead and do that. There's a battery. This actually might be useful. Uh, we're using Magnetic Craft over here, I do believe, right? For this one particular item. Why don't I have a tooltip at the top of my screen? This is... Not showing me what this thing is. It said hydro. It says hydraulic press right here. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is like the one magnetic craft thing that we're using, and we have power coming out of two thermal piles down here. Or actually, I think there might be more. How many do we have down here? I can't see. Uh, maybe it's just two. It looked like there was more than two. Anyway, so we have two thermal piles down there, and we aren't storing the power. And when we have to. Like craft up a bunch of stuff through here. I have seen the power go way down, whichever one the power is. I guess it would be this one, or is it this one? I don't know. Anyway, if we had a battery, we could store up extra power, and then we could run the hydraulic press for a lot longer. So that's actually something that will be useful. Um, so anyway, there is a lot of stuff here <laughs> that is just crafting in the terminal. So I'm just going to go ahead and get through that, and then we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I made these battery blocks like we were talking about. And these are storing a decent amount of power and still going up. And then I also changed out the water and lava that we're using for the thermal piles down here to liquid starlight and fire water. Yeah, the fire water we got out of loot bags before and then the starlight, obviously, with our astral sorcery stuff. Um, you can see here, though, with the liquid starlight and the fire water we're making 73,072 I don't actually know what this number was before, just the water and the lava, but I'm sure it's a lot lower down here-ish. Yeah. So anyway, this is working pretty good. And then we got three batteries that are storing a bunch of power here. So when we need to use our hydraulic press, uh, yeah, we'll have plenty of power ready to go. So we won't have to worry about it slowing down after a few separate crafts, which is super awesome. Okay. So we got that going and then I went ahead and I knocked out all of these different guys and the mag grinder. Yeah, I click claim on that one. So anyway, we can go ahead and claim all. This is another chapter that is now completed, which is awesome. So that is two and a half stacks more RAK. Uh, where are we at right now? We're almost at 3000 of it. Goodness. Okay. Um, so now that that quest section is completed, uh, Zeta is another one that's just a bunch of things. The portality mod, this is just a way that you can like teleport and stuff. I think we checked this out in Project Dozone 2, I feel like. And it felt like it was super expensive, really bulky, and we have a better way of teleporting. So I'm just going to go ahead and knock this stuff all out, and then I'll uh, craft these other immersive engineering things that we haven't crafted just yet. Yeah, none of this stuff we're going to be using, just quests to do, so let me knock them out. Well, we haven't had to use the workbench from Immersive Engineering for quite some time, but yeah, we're going to make vacuum tubes, and I think this might be the first time we've made them. I think. Well, anyway, let's put those in here. So we'll learn those vacuum tubes. I think we just needed one. So yeah, we are making the garden close. This was a thing I believe I wanted to make earlier on, and then we got kind of roadblock because it needed advanced crafting and 
all of this yeah uh we're now able to make this but we just haven't crafted some of these things that we need like topiary grass is the last piece of this that we need and that's just seeds wrapped around dirt and that has emc so as soon as we make one we make one million nice okay so we have that all done so now we should be able to come over here to the yellow advanced crafting table and then make this guy there it is no emc and that's the last quest on that page awesome so yes all of these are now done so we'll claim them all sweet okay so we are yeah knocking out a whole bunch of these quests now so ada is another one that we need so there's a few more thermal machines that we haven't made we haven't needed uh this flux infused jet plate that's something that i do want to make and this will require us to do um well i think we needed to do this anyway for the next armor quest if i remember right from last episode anyway um so i'm gonna go ahead and start knocking out the rest of these machines that we haven't made these capacitor banks and a dimensional transceiver this is another thing where you can send stuff from cross dimension or power or whatever i don't i think this one's actually worse than the uh quantum entangle port if i remember correctly because it requires power requires energy in order to uh send stuff Mmm, it's different anyway. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, knock out all of these quests and we'll be back to look at doing this guy. And more quests have been knocked out, but I haven't done all of these just yet. In fact, uh, this enhanced combustion generator, I went ahead and I made it from this combustion generator, which I just made from scratch, right? So I made this and then I made the stuff that we needed to make the enhanced one. And as soon as I crafted it, it says it's configured, which is different than what this wants. This is enhanced combustion generator, right? So I think if we just put this right here and then clear that out, it's no longer. Yeah, there we go. Now the quest completes. Okay, so that's interesting. Yeah, so when I crafted that, it was said it was configured, but that's not what the quest book is looking for. So you just clear it out by putting in your crafting grid. Okay. Um, so the next thing that I was in the process of working on was this dimensional transceiver. And in order to make that, we need these crystalline pink slime ingots. Let's actually do this. Okay, so yeah, we need these guys. So to make that, we need an alloy smelter that has grains of pisality, which we have, that has EMC. But then we need these pink slime ingots. And those are made in a fluid sieving machine uh, with pink slime. An iron ingot, I guess, is like the mold, or I don't remember if it uses that every time. And then you get these pink slime ingots. Well, we made a fluid sieving machine before. I don't know if this is what we were doing with it. Um, but yeah, we need to get iron, I guess. Yeah, I, I, again, I don't know if I have to put an iron ingot in for each one of those. Can I put more than one? Let's try. Iron ingot. I don't know if it uses these or if that's just like a pattern. Okay, so we'll put a full stack in there. This does require power, so let's grab a spectry coil. All right, so we got power in there. I guess we'll get the uh, energy upgrade. That and the speed upgrade, both of these guys. Cool. Okay, so fully upgraded, always active. And then this was saying, if we look at the pink slime ingot, it says right here 2,000 and then divided by 300. I don't know, does that mean it uses 300 per craft and it's 2,000 as the tank? This is eight buckets. I, I have no idea what that means. So let's just put this down. I'm gonna bucket in one at a time. I don't wanna like waste our pink slime since that doesn't have EMC. So we will just do this, grab a bucket of it and see what happens. So I put that in there and nothing happens. Two buckets. Okay, so I don't understand <laughs> what this means here. So I get, well, yeah, obviously it's two buckets per pink slime, which is a little expensive. Do we, ha okay, we have seven buckets remaining, so we have enough. So there is another ingot. There's our third ingot. And there's our last ingot, right? Okay, so we have four of these, and it is using iron every time. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was the case. So we don't need the fluid sieving. We don't need that. We do need this one, though, and that is alloy smelter. So let us make another recipe yeah last episode i made the guardian diode is that what it's called anyway and then i changed the pattern 
because I shift clicked it from GEI, like had two different things here, then the diode down here. I cleared those out. I uh, I encoded the pattern, then I put it back in there, changed something, and it like moved the item that was here up here. And then when I re encoded it, we had two in there anyway. So yeah, that's all fixed. Um, the diodes or the guardian, is that what it's called? Yeah, these things have EMC. So as soon as we made one, we have a million of them. And yeah, there was a crafting thing here that I canceled out. So anyway, not a big deal. We got that all solved. Um, so we can encode this guy here. These don't have EMC and this doesn't have EMC. So now we just need to go into our alloy, nope, not here, alloy furnace, alloy smelter. I cleared out all of the recipes that we had in here that we were doing in the alloy smelter. Every single ingot that we were making in here all has EMC and we all have a million of them. There's no reason to have those patterns in there. It's just taking up space. Yeah, we were completely full up, so I just got rid of all of them. But I did add in the enhanced machine chassis and the industrial one. Both of these we didn't have, and both of those do not have EMC and have to be crafted over there. Okay, so anyway, uh, crystalline pink slime ingot. Let us craft uh, four of those. I, yeah, this does have EMC. So as soon as we craft these up, or I guess we craft up the first one, we can learn it. And then we have all of the dimensional transceivers if we want those in the future. So there is this guy. I'll just immediately put in here. And now we have a million of them and I'll put one in my inventory so we get the quest completion. Awesome. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Very good. All right, so all this stuff goes right back into the system here. And that completes everything on this page except for the flux and fuse chest plate. Let's claim all of these. All right, so that is another static plus six. All right, okay. We're up to 3,142 of these things. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Okay, so yes. Um, Instead of looking at that jetpack, let's go to this tab here. Yeah, our next quest was to make this armor and we need this chest plate here in order to make the flux infused jet plate. So it makes sense to me that this will be the next quest that we work on knocking out these, well, I guess this armor set, right? Uh, in order to make that, we do have to have the previous tier, the ender helmet, which or I guess the Ender Armor set, which we made last time. So yeah, we'll go ahead and add those in here. So really, we're going to need a bunch of these fluxed armor platings. And to make those, we need flux electrum plates plus flux crystal, which we don't have any of, but they have EMC. And then the flux electrum, yeah, we can do mystical crops for that. And which tier is that? That's a tier four. I don't know if we ever made those before or not. Well, I guess... I was gonna look in the chest over here. The best way to do that, I suppose, would be going here, looking at the tier four, and just looking at all the ones we have completed, and gold, star metal, fiery, alumite, uh, flux ingot. So it looks like we've already done that, so I just gotta farm up a bunch of that stuff if we don't have enough. Well, anyway, let me go ahead and knock that out real quick, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, so it looks like we already had about a thousand of these flux electrum ingots in the system. It was just a matter of time waiting for them to be compressed, and it's four of those per each one of these fluxed armor plating things. Anyway, so we should be able to be, we should be good to go anyway. Uh, so let's do this. There is a flux infused helmet, and then we will do the flux infused chip chest plate, flux infused leggings, and we don't have enough. And a few minutes later, problem solved. Now we have enough of these for the flux infused leggings and finally the flux infused boots. So that should complete our flux infused quest. Nice. Okay, so let's go back to this page. Uh, we'll claim this and the stellar alloy armor right after that. I'm actually kind of curious. Oh, this is more enter IO. Okay. Uh, how does that compare? Wow, okay. So, seven toughness, seven armor. Stellar. What is this? Is it all like that? So, that's eight armor, seven toughness, 18 armor. Wow, this is actually really good stuff. Huh. Yeah, I haven't seen this before. That's quite, quite, quite good. All right, uh, what does it cost to make that? That's just stellar alloy and some sentient enders. Sentient enders do require witch soul vials to make 
and no EMC on these. Okay, uh, that means we need to go find ourselves four witches, capture them soul vials. Probably the hunting dimension would be the best way to do that. And then we have to do it in the soul binder. You know what? I think, well, hold on a second. We need to take this armor and upgrade it beyond that. That means that this flux infused chest plate that we just made uses, uh, that is going to be ruined. So I have to do another chest plate all the way up to this tier, right? So that means we have to make another ender plate and all the way back until like the next armor that we can EMC and then go all the way back up again. Huh. Yeah, all the mystical agriculture stuff. <laughs> oh boy. Is there like something that I'm missing here? I guess I'm gonna take a moment and see if there's like something that I'm not thinking about in order to get another one of these and we'll be right back. Okay, so that wasn't really that bad. Uh, we were able to start uh, the armor here. Right, I guess the, the, dra the dragon armor that we're currently using was like the last step before the mystical agriculture. And then all the different armor tiers that we did last episode, I just had to go through again just for that chest plate. So making the dark matter, dark steel, and steel, and then up to here. So it really wasn't that awful. Yeah, just starting here, we just had to do all of these again. Um, so anyway, we are going to look at the flux infused jet plate. And that requires us to have these cryothium cooling units, which none of this has EMC. And we can't just craft it. Or uh, yeah, we can't EMC them. So we have to like craft them this way. And then we have to fill each one of these with four buckets of cryothium. So I just put half a stack of cryothium dust in this magma crucible. So now we have eight buckets of the molten cryothium. And there's our cooling units. So those are done. Uh, so if I shift click those, yeah, we go right into the system here. All right. So then we need these flux thrusters. We already have the resonant jet pack and we have this flux infused chest plate, which we made. And as far as the flux pack, flux pack. Yeah, I guess we have never made one of those. So that'll be something else we'll have to make. Uh, flux thruster does require flux armor plating. So we needed two more of those and I have those pre-crafted. Resonant thrusters requires like all of this stuff. Yeah, that's going to be kind of fun to do. And then we need glowstone elevation units. So that's four buckets of glowstone per each one of these. And that's lumium and flux electrum ingots. So I think we should be able, be able to craft uh, four of these guys. Oh, what are we missing? Let me uh, bookmark that so I don't have to keep clicking through again. So we're missing hardened signalum glass, and that has EMC. So we just have to craft that once. We, may, we need signalum blend, which is easy enough. We just take one of our EMC signalums and throw it over into a pulverizer here. And now we should be able to do this. Cool. And then I'll do that. Now we got a bazillion of them. All right, well, that makes things a little bit easier here. And then one, two, three, I said four of those, right? Let me go back in here and double check. So each thruster requires two of those. And each one of those requires us to have four buckets of molten glowstone. Uh, so it's a block of glowstone per bucket. So that's uh, four, eight, 16 blocks of glowstone to fill all those up which is easy enough for us to do. All right, so we'll just grab the four blocks, throw that over into this guy here, and then we'll put these in here, and when we need them, they'll be ready to go. Okay, so there's a lot of, like, other micro-crafting that we need to do here in order to get this going. Yeah, so I need to make these resonant thrusters again, which require all of this stuff, more molten redstone. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and knock out all this grindy crafting, and then we'll be back, guys. And here we go, everything is crafted up and ready to go. There's our flux infused jet plate. So we were able to use the resonant jet pack that we have been using. Um, and I took this apart and then I EMC'd the armor plating so I didn't have to make another one for this flux pack. And then I've learned like as many of these, uh, the flux packs as I could. So we have the reinforced and the resonant one and the resonant with the armor. Uh, the energy cell, um, what are they called? Yeah, energy cell. Now, something interesting, like the different tiers of the energy cell, like the reinforced ones and the Endearian ones, say they have EMC on them, but they all like convert to the same one. And then when I went to make 
which one was it? This thing? Uh, the resonant flux pack? Yeah, it was able to use the basic energy cell here, not the resonant one to craft it. Anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. But here's our flux infused jet plate. So now we have ourselves a real nice, I, I guess, jet pack. Yeah, for when we go to the Urbis or whatever. Yeah, so this is, this is pretty good. And then, oh, I don't have... I don't even know what key bind I have for a hover. Is it like C or one of the, I have no idea. Anyway, this is, this will be really nice. We put it into hover mode and you can like travel horizontally without going up and down um, <laughs> or without sinking, I guess. Yeah. So we'll just go ahead and toss that into our pouch. So we have that. If we have to go to a dimension that disallows creative flight, once again, it shows I have one here and one there. Yeah. That's just a little, a little glitch. It's all good. Okay, so that means under Ada that we are now complete with this entire page. Whew. Okay, so that is another section of the quest book completed, which is fantastic. Um, again, like I said, I wanted to knock out one of these little sections of seeds in the following episodes. We started on the Prudentium and the rest of this stuff last episode. I'm just going to go ahead and knock out all of these guys real quick. Just craft all the ones that we can. If there's anything weird that requires some extra, extra processes, I'll bring you guys back. But yeah, more crafting. So I'm just now realizing that the essence, the dust can be turned into blocks. The blocks can be animated and then you can turn those back into the different dusts again. So I'm in the process right now of making all of these different ones. And we're gonna add these barrels downstairs. This is different than what we did last episode where we were doing the ingots. These are the actual dusts, right? Um, so yeah, this is, which one was this? Supremium? So yeah, I'm going to the dark steel bow and renaming these things again. Supremium essence. Yep, so there we go. And then uh, Insanium is also another one that we can do here, which is great because this is like super expensive otherwise. But yeah, very, very happy that we can do this. And that one is the Insanium. So clear that out, Insanium Essence. And that's all we can fit in there. Uh, all right, cool. So we have all those. So we got six more of these that we can add downstairs into our uh, array of mob duplicators. I need to add all these and we can have all of the different essence now without having to worry about any of the, I guess the crafting from the Landia stuff. Now this mod pack was updated and it removed Landia from what I understand. So like the big brother and the Frisian and all that stuff has been removed in the latest update. And the latest update also says to restart your mod pack if you're updating to this. Like you don't have to, but it says that you should. I'm not updating my pack where they uh, removed Landia. That's like too big of a part of what we've done so far in this playthrough. Uh, so if you're starting your own playthrough, it's gonna be slightly different. Again, this playthrough also had Voidcraft, which was removed, which wasn't really that big of a deal. But yeah, that's another thing that was removed anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to add all of these in here and then add them to our mob duplicator, spawn a bunch of these and we'll be back guys. All right. So we are approaching the very last seed that I, I, I was going to say I want to craft. I don't want to craft these, but these are quests that we need to do. And we're approaching the very last one here and there it is. Awesome. So if nothing else, having this setup right here to auto click the the altar when it's done is actually kind of convenient. I do like that. So yes, this is all of the different seeds that we had left to craft of the tier three. <sighs> Some of these were a little annoying to do, like the bronze seeds, for instance, there was a few of them. Um, the recipe for these guys did require us to have copper and tin. So I had to go grab those seeds. Uh, a few of these other ones require, like the electrical steel required silicon, which we made last episode only one of. So I never had extra, so I had to make another one of those and then that required iron and coal. Now, even though uh, these are listed here without any NBT data, like coal seeds, for instance, I had 10, 10, 10, you can use the 10, 10, 10 ones. It's just the ones that specify that you have to use 10, 10, 10. You can't use the ones without, if that makes sense. Anyway, 
So that should all be done. I'm going to go clear my inventory out of, <laughs> from all of these seeds. And we'll just put all of these in here. We definitely are not going to have enough room in here for all of these seeds when we get through this quest, this entire quest line. We're going to have to have another chest set up for that or just start dumping them in our applied energistics. But yes, that takes care of the entire intermediate crafting section. Ah, claim all. If I remember correctly, the superium ones require us to do astral sorcery. I think that's how you craft them. Anyway, that's going to be for another day because I am all, I am pretty much burnt out of crafting. We have collected so much RAK today. We're up to 3,300, almost 3,400. No, I was going to say almost 3,400. We're not there. Anyway, uh, 3,300 of this. Yeah, that is, that's looking pretty good. Um, rewards, if we wanted to upgrade our sword to the very last here, that's another 2,000 of it. I'm not entirely sure it's worth upgrading, but yeah, they require the ultimate ingot, a dragon heart, some of this stuff, which all has EMC, except for this, another rhyme. I don't think that does, does it? No, this does not. So you'd have to go uh, mine that up. I think all of these do. Yeah. But again, like the upgrade from the previous tier to this one, I don't think there's a lot of difference. Actually, if we look at the uses on this, is that, oh, it doesn't show up in the quest. Yeah, there's not a lot of difference between what we are currently using and that one. Looting and Reaper is still the same. There's life mending on there, which, I mean, I don't think that's ever going to do anything since this <laughs> sword never needs to be repaired. Civ Fortune, like, why is there even Civ Fortune on there? I have no idea. Uh, knowledge of the Ages L, that would actually give us a whole lot more experience for killing things, so that might be worth it. I don't know. Uh, just something that we can look at in the future, but guys, I'm done for today. <laughs> yeah, so much crafting, so much crafting. We have to get through all these quests, though, in order to complete this mod pack, so sooner or later, it had to catch up with us, right? Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.